is my tattoo suitable for excision? So um, I will show this tattoo. Oh, no, wrong button. So this, um, this won't obviously work well on the podcast, but anyway, um, so if you're listening to this on audio, there's a tattoo on what we would call the ulna border of the of the hand, which is the sort of little finger side of the hand um, over the, um, the, the the bit of skin that, that uh, doesn't have hair on it. And uh, it's known as the thena eminence. And uh, whilst this tattoo has got some good features to it that would make it um, conducive to having it removed by excision, mainly the the um, shape of it in that it's sort of oblong shape because <coughs> it's Roman numerals. So the worst shape for a tattoo excision is a circle. So a circular thing would be hard to remove, but this is kind of long and thin. So the most important dimension is the narrowest dimension. It doesn't matter about the longest dimension, or at least the longest dimension just means it'll be a longer scar, but the narrowest dimensions is, is the important dimension because that's the bit we have to kind of stitch together. So, um, uh, so that's quite good that it's kind of oblong shape and that's a favorable shape for a, for a tattoo to be excised. Two problems with it. The first problem is there's not a great deal of spare skin on the hand, uh, particularly because the hand has to move and things, although that bit of skin doesn't move that much. So um, I don't think it'll come out of one go. I think it will require two sessions to remove it. This patient, I believe, is from overseas, I think. I think America, but is coming over to Europe and says it's okay, can come to the clinic and stuff because they're coming to Europe. But um, so I, I think it's important that I get this message to you before you come all the way to the clinic. So um, what I would say is that uh, the, the the I think I don't think that will come out in one session. I think it will take two sessions. If you imagine getting this piece of skin to this piece of skin, I don't think it's going to go. And the other problem, which is a a significant problem is it's not a great place for a scar. The ulnar border of the hand is not a great place for a scar. It's quite an important place to, um, when you're writing, when you're, um, hi Jackie, when you're, when you're, when you're, you know, doing anything, that's quite a, you know, there, there's padding there on the hand for a reason. If you just bang your hand down on the ground or you're tapping on something or, you know, that bit of the, of the hand has got padding on it for a reason. Um, and if you take quite a significant portion of that skin away by excising it and then leave a scar there, it can be quite a sensitive and not a great place for a scar. So whilst technically it would be possible to remove this tattoo in two sessions, I don't think it would. Uh, and 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 or, it, you know, shape wise, it's it's favorable for excision i would say this is probably excision is probably not a great option for it now the problem is it looks like they've had laser <coughs> and the laser maybe has kind of um faded it but it hasn't got rid of it so i'm not sure what the other options are i always say laser is the kind of first choice for a tattoo uh, removal but it's a tricky one that I can't hand on heart say that l tattoo excision would be a great option for this. So if you've tried laser, if I'm saying excision is not a great option, that kind of I don't really think leaves you with any other options apart from accepting the tattoo. If you really can't accept it for whatever reason, if there's some reason that uh, that has to go, it could be removed by excision. But I think that would cause potentially more harm than good, to be honest with you, um, because of the discomfort of having a, a scar on that area. It would have to be closed quite tight and it might uh, distort that sort of quite nice um, bump, that nice sort of padding we've all got on our hands in that area. Um, it would, it, you know, it, you'd be removing all that and bringing that palmer skin up. And I just don't think it's a great I don't think is a great one, especially if you're coming from overseas. Um, I wouldn't want you to come all the way from overseas for me to tell you this, um, because that would be bad and that would be potentially a wasted journey for you. So it's good to have that con this conversation prior to um, to seeing you.